Today, I am lecturing on what qualifies as an enemy. Sesame Street gave lectures on what qualifies as a friend. But on serious opinions, we teach the opposite. And people with autism like me can give opposites. An enemy gives another person so many ridiculous legal information at a physical place or at a website to give fear to another person by brainwashing. And legal information counts as profanity to hurt relationships. And an enemy believes that legal information trumps a greedy. An enemy pressures a person to obey the enemy's law. An enemy is strict and serious by stressing another person when the prepositional phrase as a clue is at all times. An enemy uses the adverb cannot or the contraction can't to destroy a person's self-confidence permanently and slash or to destroy a person's self-esteem permanently. The auxiliary verb can is used for ability and the auxiliary verb may is used for permission. An enemy demands respect from another person. An enemy gives fine threats, banishment threats, arrest threats, or death threats to another person. An enemy secretly sets up conspiracy on purpose of giving no positive potential to someone or of giving no positive consequence to someone by preventing someone from going a step closer to positive events. Even though an enemy uses positive encouragement like, you can do this, or like, believe in yourself, or like, be true to yourself, or like, follow your dreams. And an enemy believes that legal information trumps positive encouragement. An enemy is hypocritical against his slash her own lectures. An enemy frequently denies permission to someone from doing any harmless activity by preventing someone from going a step closer to positive events. An enemy does selfish pro-intellectual property actions like placing barriers of copyrights, of patents, or of trademarks, or like enforcing pro-intellectual property laws. An enemy cares about money, about credentials, about power, and about winning instead of other people. An enemy gives favoritism when person A gets the favor from the enemy and when person B gets the disfavor from the enemy and that is discrimination. 
an enemy suspiciously checks to see if another person has a criminal record or any suspicious attributes like being a juvenile or like being an alien. An enemy spies on another person by making sure that another person is following the enemy's laws at all times, thus stressing another person. An enemy censors anything like brand names slash logos from forms of medium or like any content. An enemy bans a person from any physical place or from any website. An enemy bans things. An enemy raids slash arrests slash books slash incarcerates another person that is kidnapping an enemy cares about ransoms money and slash or other material things slash requests instead of other people and enemy gives liabilities more than assets and enemy punishes a person punishment is separation or death and enemy is a monopolist and enemy sets up a hidden compromise that the enemy gets 100% of something thus being a non-sharer. An enemy believes that he slash she is always right with everything according to legal ways. And enemy believes that legal ways trump friendship and enemy wants to prevail the status quo and enemy is looking out for number one with pride and enemy blames on someone but on himself slash herself an enemy wants to put other people into non-existence the chemical element jerk tonium exists on earth since humans sinned against God according to Genesis chapter 3 we fight against each other to determine whose human culture slash cultures is slash are honorable the truth is that we all are enemies against each other and that there is no such thing as a good community because of humans sinful nature according to Romans chapter 3 verses 10 and 23 but thank God that God is going to fix the broken world according to God's power. 
we need to believe this because the material things on earth will pass away to make room for the spiritual eternal things according to 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18. 